Hey guys, it's Jumpin' Jackson here. Welcome to a beginner's video on the first 10 tricks that you want to master before beginning your rebound experience. And using jump Make rope. Make sure you get a beaded rope. Let's get straight into it. First, regular bounce. As you can see, my wrist is going in circular motion. My wrist is facing the camera, slightly bend your knees. My elbows are in as far as they can go. I want everybody to study the different angles and just watch it, practice. The, the reason why I have this tutorial going very slow so you can see the momentum and the consistency. Next trick, single leg. As you can see, my knees are slightly bent. I have my left foot about six to seven inches off the ground as I'm bouncing on my right leg and out. And I alternate my from my right and left leg as I keep my form. Shoulders up, core tight, and smile. This may be quite challenging at first, especially if you're not able to lift a boot up in the air. If this the case, try without the rope, alternating your leg, and build up to be able to execute this trick. Okay, the next trick is run in place. Now, this may be some difficulty with this because it is a movement and if you're not somebody that run then it may be very challenging so what I say is do as much as you can what you really want to do is visualize yourself just running in place and practice 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 you can ask me all day long jumping Jackson how do you do it I'm going to tell you over and over again practice next movement trick number four side swings now I'm using my dominant hand, which is my right hand. Um, it goes above my left hand, my left hand below. And so I'm using the momentum of my wrist to go to the right and go to the left. I would say practice this until you get a momentum because this will make the difference of being able to jump through the rope when you're bouncing and going back to a side swing. You can do it. Next movement trick one arm side swings so basically you're taking both handles and you're swinging it up and down a circular motion you can take the momentum and go to your right hand like I just did and continue to go in a circular motion also notice that my posture have not changed I'm doing an alternative um, jump between my right and left leg my core is tight my shoulder is up just be cautious about the rope as you're swinging it up and down, sometimes it tangles. So just be mindful of that when you're twisting. Next trick up, uh, feet front to back, trick number six. So considering how big the boots are, you don't wanna take these long exaggerated steps while you're trying to learn how to do the front to back. You literally wanna go maybe like an inch or two inches space between both your boots as you're alternating like the scissors are the movement in the rebound world we call it, it the scissors and of course keep the same posture core type shoulders up and smile the next trick trick number seven feet side to side or just call it in and out again you don't have to exaggerate the movement you don't have to go three to five feet spreading out and in just a comfortable in and out movement three to five inches just to get the momentum again continue to keep your posture your core type shoulders up the whole goal right now in this tutorial is to practice and develop a momentum because once you develop a momentum you'll be able to get the rope underneath the boots a lot easier next trick trick number eight front straddle in this trick you want to imagine you have an imaginary line and you're bouncing across it like a regular bounce you you'll notice that a lot of these tricks is just a regular bounce. The only difference is the foot alteration. Okay, trick number nine is side straddle. So now we're gonna be doing the opposite, which is jumping side to side. So imagine a line on your right side and you're just going right to left. Now for people who don't have a jump rope yet, the jump rope I recommend is a beaded rope. However, if this is too challenging for you, Fitboots has a have a ropeless um, jump rope that you can use and build up your momentum until you can get to the point of using a beaded jump rope. 
out. My favorite would be the jump rope side by off of Amazon. I'll add the link at the bottom. And if you're interested in a pair of boots, I'll add the link at the bottom. You'll get 10% off during holidays. Last trick, number 10, lazy sidestep. With lazy sidestep, this is the most advanced of all the 10. You're literally taking one foot and you're shifting it between your right and your left foot. Now, if this is something that you can't do right away, that's totally fine. Um, you can not use the rope just to develop the momentum from going right to left, and then you can add the rope in shortly. Just be sure to watch it and to um, use it as a reference to, to start your jump rope journey. I'm doing these tutorials so people can learn that it's not that hard to learn how to bounce up and down over a rope. It's all just stems from regular bouncing. If you found any of this information useful, please do comment below. Let me know what videos would you like for me to create to help add to your experience of rebounding in jump ropes.